hop in. We are going to get started in one minute. Everyone get in, Type. start typing whenever you can see me, hear me. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Oh man, tonight is going to be an amazing night. I am so excited. We are on only two episodes left. We're at episode seven of season three. It's just going live right now, like literally a minute ago it loaded. So we're going to jump right into this. Let me know in the comments where you're watching three. from. It's just going live oh, you know right what? now, Let's like see. literally a minute ago it loaded. Echo, there we go. Okay, I was playing twice. Type one, type one, type one. Oh man, I'm so excited and so sad at the same time. I put it in the comments. This is season three, episode seven of The Chosen. Google it if you're confused. Because the whole stream, people are like, what is this? What are you watching? Where can I find this? You can watch it for free. If you don't want to see me in the corner of the screen, you can watch it for free. There's hundreds of comments of people that watch this later and say, who's that guy in the corner? I'm like, this is my page. This is my reaction, my review. Chosen has it for free if you don't want to see the reaction and the review. All right, we're going to give everyone one minute. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from. Let's see if we're live on Facebook. Did Facebook work or is Facebook going to cut us off? Let's see. We're going to get started in 45 seconds. I think Facebook's working, but I can't tell because, let's see, are we live on Facebook? Yes, we are. It's not letting me edit anything on Facebook, but oh well, we'll figure it out. All right, let me know where you're watching from. Get your snack. I, I did see episode seven and eight in theaters, and let me just say, oh man, episode eight is so good. The finale's, the finale way exceeded my expectation. Now, we will be watching the finale on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. We'll be watching the finale Wednesday, 2 p.m. Pacific, because tomorrow night we have the Book of John live stream. And then Tuesday night, we have our Demon Slayer podcast. So that's when it's premiering. And then Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, we don't want to get in the way of your church schedule. We'll be watching the chosen season finale. Oh, I'm telling you guys, you don't want to miss that. Okay. Okay. I think we're ready. Here we go. Let's get started. Oh, man. I literally can't wait for this. This is so good. Here we go. Let's get started here. And the king arose in a wrath from his wine drinking, who went into the palace garden. But Haman, yes. he stayed behind to beg for his life from Queen Esther, for he saw that harm was determined against him by the king. And the king returned from the palace garden to the place where they were drinking wine, just as Haman yes was falling onto the couch where Esther was. And the king said, will he even assault the queen in my presence? In my own house? This was on the 13th day of the month of Adar. And on the 14th day, they rested and made that a day of feasting and gladness. Therefore, the Jews of the villages hold the 14th day of the month of Adar. The day for gladness and feasting as a holiday. Lechaez! Hey! Blessed are you, Lord our God, master of the universe, perform miracles for our fathers. In those days, at this time, to life. To life. life. <laughs> no, 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 you can't be. What are you doing? Here we go, Chosen Season 3, episode number 7, playing in theaters now. So good. Wednesday at 2 p.m. we'll be watching the finale on stream. Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, the finale on stream.
dragging your feet? I'm not. Every time I look, you're a few cubits farther back than before. Yeah, well, I'm thinking and my thoughts are making my body heavy. Can you stop thinking and walk? After what we just saw? All the more reason to move. Don't make this difficult. You think the situation among the Gentiles isn't difficult? Of course it is. Walking doesn't have to be. Oh. Or it does. Oh, I hate these. Oh. Oh. You're bleeding. Oh, thank you. I know what blood looks like. Oh, wow. Just go without me. I'm slowing you down anyway. Are you suggesting you'll stay behind and die? Maybe. Ah, we're oh. almost home. Oh, oh. Can you... Perfect. Just perfect. What? Blood! Carnage! It's a fitting end to our trip to the Decapolis. No one was bleeding. Yes, not from their skin, Andrew, but the whole place was torn apart. Just like this foot. And all because of our teaching. You're the one who's supposed to be made for this. Yes, I thought I was. That's what's so... John caused controversy all the time. Yes, but among the Jews, Andrew, we caused a multinational crisis on the verge of erupting into violence. Maybe even war. We might have blood on our hands. People might die because of us. Yeah, one thing at a time. Yes, hold here. Blood on our hands. Uh, it's a little much. We failed in our mission. Messiah gave us his words. And if we this didn't blurry die. hit your if icon that and go to you. HD. Set your thing to HD. Then maybe it should, Andrew. You'll need a walking stick. Oh, welcome back. At least someone's happy to see us. He's a different Philip right now. Well, for good reason. Wait, wait, what happened? What are these? Oh, I'm making packages of food for the homeless. Little James said it's a Purim tradition. Purim! <sighs> Completely forgotten. How are we talking about holidays right now? Well, <laughs> what do you mean? What happened at the Decapolis? Our teaching. We made a mess. We did not intentionally create a mess. We preached the words of our rabbi. And some people took issue. Where is the vinegar? Oh, it's on the bottom table to the right. I, I rearranged the bottles. The way you had them organized before was very inefficient. The capitalist is in full-scale meltdown, and you're over here rearranging cabinets. How would he know? Why do you need vinegar? To disinfect the wound. Why, so it doesn't spread through my mortal body and kill me? Actually, yes. Oh, hey, this. Uh, you, you still haven't told me what you did to the Decapolis? Not what we did. It's what we said. To, to smooth things over? Sometimes, people respond better to stories than to teaching. Oh, a parable. Oh, good. Wh which one? The banquet. Ah, I, I love a banquet. You might as well just tell them what happened. Yes, I, I'd love to hear it. Thank you, Philip. So, Judas, it comes directly from Jesus, so it is perfect. Don't misunderstand. Okay. But what? But I think, perhaps, Jesus shares it when he wants a challenge. Were you challenged? Oh, yes. Challenged? Yes, the challenge is fair, yeah. So, so it goes like this. One time, there was a rich man who's throwing a big party. It's this big banquet. He wants everybody to come to it. So he sent his servant out to all those invited, saying, everything is ready, it's time, come. Only the guests that he's inviting are making excuses. The first says, I've just bought the field. I must go out and look it over. Please excuse me. And another said, I've just bought five yoke of oxen, and I must examine them, therefore I cannot come. And another said, I've just married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. There's perfectly legitimate reasons. Even our own people had Someone come. Someone in the crowd said that exact same thing. So, 
The servant reported these things to the master, and the master of the house became very angry. And he said to the servant, go to the streets of the city and bring back the poor and crippled and blind and lame. So he did, and they came, only there was still room left over in the banquet. So he said, go out to the highways and hedges and compel people to come in so that my house may be filled. You said this to a mixed crowd? We, we did not know the extent to which the crowd was mixed. So go out and find some leftovers did not exactly play well. Well, it should have. God wants everyone to come to the party. The master said, I want my house filled. Everyone is invited. Okay, okay, so tell me, tell me if I have this right. The Jews understood you to mean that Jesus was calling for Gentiles, and the Gentiles thought you were calling them second class. And then the conservatives who live by Jeremiah would have heard you saying that the original guests who didn't want to go to the banquet would miss the party. And those, better versed in Isaiah, behold, I am doing a new thing, were probably emboldened, except that Gentiles were there. Yeah, that's about right. How did you know that? I am a businessman. It's my job to know people, and I've met all kinds. It was demoralizing. Maybe you're over-identifying your role in it. Would people be brawling in the streets of the Decapolis, Judas, if we hadn't gone there and preached? Brawling? Boys, it is way too early for the war. We have to be smarter. Chag Purim Sameach! Not? Come on. Come on, it's a holiday, not Shiva. I think we may have created a crisis in the Decapolis. So talk to Jesus about it. I was just about to suggest that. What happened to your foot? We are going to go see Jesus first thing in the morning. So how often does Philip get like this? About twice a year. Just keep my distance. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> we know. Mm. This is very well written. I will just have to trust you on that. You cannot read? That must be very limiting. This wasn't my choice. You could learn. You are very intelligent. Thomas. Hello, Matthew. Did Rama return as well? Hey, how did it go? Uh, oh. it's complicated. <laughs> Where's Rema? Did her dad say no or something? I mean, he didn't say no. Rema stayed behind in Teldor. Oh. Well, at least you're back, huh? Huh? Thomas! Yes, Rema. Rema stayed behind to work on Kafni. Mm. He's not a believer. In Jesus? You know that? In me. <laughs> ah. It's disappointing. Are you embarrassed? Nathaniel. He didn't say no. He just didn't say yes. Rayma's working on him. We're hopeful. Wait. Thomas. <laughs> so, the good news is we got the ash. The bad news is the townspeople now think that the followers of Christ are up to some scheme. Did I miss something? Thomas is back. And we were just wondering how it went at the market. And we bought more than half of the vendor supply of sulfur. People are going to think that we're building weapons. Preparing for war. Igniting spears isn't the only use for sulfur. 
it, it can also be used to clean stains from white linens. It can be used to make incense. It could be used to purify a room where a sick person has lain. Is Jesus back? Yes, he's over at our place speaking to Abba about the olive grove. We need to speak what? with him right away. Wait, why? Philip, what happened to your foot? Were you attacked? Nearly. We have a big problem with the Decapolis. I thought you were sent to go fix it. We need Jesus to intervene. On behalf of Gentiles? Excuse me. I am sitting right here. You're different. There are hundreds of pilgrims here in Capernaum, our own people who haven't seen Jesus for weeks, living in squalid conditions, waiting for one opportunity to hear more of his words, the words that captured them on the mount. He never promised them more teaching. They followed us to Capernaum of their own accord. The Gentiles are curious now. This was all foretold by the prophet Isaiah. Do we remember? Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved with whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. And in his name, the Gentiles will hope. I've been studying the genealogy of Jesus. Sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. And there appeared to be many Gentiles in his own ancestry. Rahab was a prostitute in Jericho who was married to Salmon, who fathered Boaz. And Boaz and married Ruth, who was a Moabite. We could just let Jesus decide for himself. Exactly. That's. Th thank you, Mary. She's right. Let's go. Well, I should get to work. I'll continue looking at this. Smells nice over here. <laughs> the holy anointing oil of the first press. Sad news about Thomas and Rama, huh? It is. Matthew, I have something I wanted to ask you. Uh, you do? Yesterday I was upstairs and I was uh, moving some things around and I, I came across a box with prayer tassels inside. Well, what, what, what are you gonna ask me about them? Why were they hidden away? Why is it unimportant? They, they were hidden for a reason. Did that occur to you? I, I put them back, of course. Uh, it, it was an accident, I, I told you. I just wondered. Okay. I, I'm very glad that you were staying at my old house, but I would ask you to please not go through my personal belongings anymore. Matthew, wait. Sent by God. Those were his exact words. Yes. Parentage? He claimed to be of the house and lineage of David. No, I, I mean his father's house. Jesus, son of whom? Oh, he didn't say. Origin. What do you mean? From whence he hails, Jesus of what? Oh, I, I didn't ask him. You just gave him the money? Yes. My sympathy for your loss is dwindling. His preaching was powerful like nothing I've heard before. Did he perform any signs or miracles? No. Was he surrounded by loyal followers? He was alone. He said he's gonna build an army outside Beersheba in the Negev. And though I'm clearly too old to fight, a 50 shekel donation will help his troops craft weapons. Thank you for your report. You're not going to open a formal inquiry? There are countless scams. such con men swindling Some of y'all getting scammed on Instagram Judea, by fake accounts. This is a common name in our nation. If we started an inquiry, where would we stop? But you seem eager to accept an audience with me. This is not the swindler I'm looking for. Oh, now you make it sound like it is my fault? I was defrauded. I am sorry. You're free to go. Yes, this episode just came out 20 minutes ago. And it's also in theaters as well.
think you will be very pleased. We will make our decisions. Look at this meager chunk. Its neck is pathetic. But the court, you can draw spots and make it the cow then, yes? This is no land for sacrifice. You guys sure know your stuff. Well, that part on the back is called a chump? Who knew? Who are you? This is a Gentile. This is. You are not permitted here. Are you eating? Oh, what, this? Yeah, well, I was going to, but the smell. This is outrageous. These are sacred grounds. Everything must remain kosher. I will have you brought before Caiaphas. Don't do that. I'm here on pilot's business. I can see you're upset. Look, all I want to know is who is the authority around here on troublemaking? Rogue preachers. Specifically in Galilee, anyone? Anybody talking about anything unusual? Give us one good reason to tell you. <coughs> Yanni! Yanni! Ask Rabbi Yanni. Rabbi Yanni. Great. Thank you, men. Good things. Listen, if they don't want it, I'm starving. I was just walking and I ended up You don't just end up in the Roman quarter. How did you get past the guard? I didn't see it. They're coming with me. Canius! What's going on? This Jew somehow got past the gate. I'll handle it. I'd like to interrogate him myself. Are you sure? He's nobody. Go to the entrance and make sure Antius is supposed to be. This never should have happened. I want to know where he was. Yes, Prim. Ask questions, do not make a sound until we get inside. You could have been arrested. What possessed you to cross into our quarter? I'd gone everywhere else. This was the last part of town I thought could distract me, you know? The novelty of it. You couldn't drink yourself into distraction at the hammer? What is this? It's nothing to worry about, Livia. But it's not yet the end of the day. I needed a private place to interrogate this Jew who was trespassing. I, I mean no harm. Are you the doctor? The, the what? Gaius said there was a Jewish doctor or something that might be able Livia, to... Livia, please uh, furnish this man with one of my cloaks. I don't want any more trouble while I see him out of the quarter. Do you know the Jewish doctor? Can he help Evo? Um, Simon, this is my son, Marius, and Evo is our... Yeah, 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 you mentioned, um, the son of your servant. He's my best friend. He's really sick. All right, Marius, that's enough. Let's go to your room. Jewishness isn't contagious, Livia. So, he already knows our whole story? Not all of it. We'll take the back door into the alley and sneak you out a side entrance. This way. Mary, 
Matthew, I'm... Please forgive me. It was none of my business. You aren't the one who needs to apologize. I'm very sorry for my outburst. Your feet. They're covered in mud. Oh, <laughs> well, um... Jesus is always going away to his lonely places, and I thought I would try it. Oh. How was it? I barely stepped out into the fields before I found myself trudging through mud. I took it as a sign to come back and apologize. I explained. He's going to explain the prayer tassels from earlier. Just as I planned. Late in the afternoon on the sixth day. No line. You arranged for there to be no line at this time? Uh, someone else did. Long time ago. Who? Oh. Never mind. You really never noticed. You seem like someone who notices things. Thank you. Hmm. Traffic does slow down late on the sixth day. Because everyone is at home preparing for Shabbat. Shouldn't you be doing that? Shouldn't you? Are you here to satisfy your tax requirement? Why didn't you want there to be a line? Maybe I wanted all your attention for myself. Besides, who wants to wait in a line? I am Matthew, son of Hazan from the tribe of Benjamin. We only require one name and one ancestor. I know that. Maybe being from the tribe of Benjamin is the last thing I have to be proud of. What tribe are you from? I don't discuss those things. He was the favorite of Jacob's 12 sons. I thought Joseph was the favorite. Ah, you do discuss these things, huh? If he wasn't a favorite, at least he was the baby of the family. And the only other son born of Jacob's true beloved, Rachel. Something's not right. Mm. You might say that. Your adjusted income from last year is not commensurate with the amount you owe. Did you come into a large sum of money? No. Your tax liability is the highest in Capernaum. I don't even think it's possible to have incurred this much debt, even in a sudden change of fortune. Oh, wait a minute, what are all these reassigned figures and transfers? Son, I do not have many more days left on this earth. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, that. I bought all the debt of my children and my family and put it under my name. I've, I've just never seen, it's this, this is such a staggering achievement of financial acumen. I, I must say I'm impressed. I have seen everything I need to see. And I am ready to meet my maker again. Surely, with your brilliance, you have also prepared the way to pay this. You know, Benjamin was not his original name. Rachel died moments after giving birth to him, and as her soul was departing, she called him ben Ani, son of my son. Later on, Jacob changed it to Benjamin, son of my right hand. That was kind of him. Do you have any land? Assets, savings, anything you can sell off to fulfill this unthinkable song. In thinking back on it, I think old Emma Rachel was correct. Son of my sorrow. Why would you do this? 
You will be arrested and placed in a Roman labor camp. But they will not be able to touch my children. I did all this legally, mind you. I know. I am astonished. And it would be very unpleasant for you. Honestly, how long do you think I will last in a labor camp? You are shrewd. Uh, to answer your question, no. I have no assets. I could have kept what little money I had and let others pay their share, but to what end? To watch them struggle as I have struggled my entire life as a shepherd? I thought human sacrifice was against our religion. Mm. But symbolic self-sacrifice is not. Besides, I will not be the one running the sword through, huh? Though I take no pleasure in doing this, I have no choice but to place you under arrest. I understand. Thank you. May I gift you? Gift? Uh, gratuity. For your wonderful service and kindness in listening to me go on. It is not customary. In truth, these are the most valuable things I own. An asset? More valuable than gold, more precious than rubies. I may be able to help you liquidate it. We could work together. A ledger coming up this short on a balance this big reflects very poorly on my performance. These are one of a kind. They date back to the first exile. Made from the world's most exquisite tequila. But well, there must be a buyer for it. If the amount settles the debt, you will be spared. I encourage you to consider keeping them for yourself, myself. Please, we are not relatives. Don't use that word. No. I have made up my mind. I want you to have them. You chose this occupation. I know you have no use for these now. But someday, you might need them. That is very unlikely. I will put these on the market and see what we can do. Officer, I confess. <laughs> Don't worry, old man. Someone will come to collect you. I will look for a buyer. When you know the true value of these, no man will be able to meet their price. Shabbat Shalom, young man. than gold. More precious than rubies, he said. I kept them to respect the genius of that man. I also kept them as a reminder of the sins against my people. Why? I, I want to understand things, Mary. Especially inscrutable things that unsettle me. And this was the most mysterious of them all. I have so many regrets. If I were to get those tassels praised and sold, I would only incur more regret, and I couldn't bear it. It wasn't about the tassels. They're just a symbol. That man wanted you to have his faith. That was the last thing he had, his most valuable thing in the world. And you have it. 
that man wanted you to be Jewish again, and you are. It was his dying wish. Why would he want that for someone like me? Because sometimes God sends a dove. Wow. A dove. I never told anyone this before, but the day I met Jesus was the same day I was ready to end my life. What? I was going to leap from a great height when a dove caught my eye. I couldn't resist following it. And it led me to the place where I met Jesus. That old man was your tough. <laughs> Our lives have often been painful, yes? <laughs> so we think life is full of scarcity and not abundance. But then there are those times when out of nowhere, somehow the world expresses its longing to be whole. And suddenly God steps in. And we are pulled out of our blindness. We are invited into redemption. I know I was. I don't know what to say. Be if you don't say anything. <laughs> I know you have felt unworthy. Matthew. Accessory to your clothes. <laughs> or rather, an old one. <laughs> shalom, shalom, Matthew. Shalom, shalom, Betty. scene was so good my heart put your heart oh, I feel like I couldn't breathe so good my allergies are starting to act up here y'all dust in the room the next time you need to change your scenery try a new food okay teach yourself discus throwing discus really it seems like you might be the one who needs a distraction. Listen, I am going out of my way to help you. Oh. I'm a fisherman. I can tell when a ship has run aground. How long has it been like this? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Huh? That boy. It's none of your business. Your wife asked if I was the Jewish doctor you told her about. What? You told her about Jesus? I mean, the, the boy's been sick for almost a month, and he's getting worse every day. None of your doctors can help? You saw the color of his skin. They think less of him because he's a servant. What? It's honorable you kept him on when his mother died. He's not just a servant. Yeah, your son said they were best friends. It's like, it's like having a brother. I understand. They are. Half brothers. Whoa. Does she know? Well, uh, we don't talk. We don't talk about it. Um, you know, for Roman men, it is a more common thing. It's 
common for lots of men. It's just it's more accepted in your culture. Yeah. Just spare me the sermon, okay? I'm not judging. I, I did not feel guilty about it at the time, but lately I do regret my actions. And now he's sick and I, uh, I can no longer pretend that he's not my son. And neither can she. Silence between the husband and wife, it's poison. I, the longer you don't say something, the worse it gets, trust me. I do not. You trust me enough? Just stick to your side of the street, Simon. Fine. Shalom, shalom, guys. Why do you say it twice? Well, once means peace. Twice means perfect peace. Complete wholeness. Well, that'll be the day. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Especially to have them on before Rabbi arrives. Yes, yes. Just tell me how to tie them. It would be faster if I just do it for you. Oh, I, I, I don't like to be touched. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so, uh, first you have to pull your... Uh, it's easiest if you take your outer tunic off first. Oh? Yeah, I mean, you, you have your talic katan on underneath, right? That's where you attach them. Could you please turn around? <laughs> so funny. Oh, sure thing. Matthew's Why do we wear these anyway? God commanded it in the law of Moses. But what do tassels have to do with Torah? Well, the Hebrew letters that spell the word are the numerical value of 600. Plus there are 13 knots and threads used to make the tassels. Oh, and, and there are 613 commandments in the law. See? Got it. 613. You know, when we wear them on the four corners of our garments, it's like... It's like being surrounded by God's word all day. See? You, you're practically a rabbi already. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, on the bottom right corner of the tally, there should be a hole there. Oh yes, I see it. Okay, you take three short strings and one long string. The, the blue one? Yes, the blue one is longest. Okay. He's here. Nathaniel, we will be there in a the moment. <laughs> Thaddeus, oh, so what are you looking at? I promise we'll be in shortly. <sighs> you okay? Just, you know, he's just so rude sometimes. <laughs> ah. Oh, my cheeks are... And what was your strategy to clarify it? Well, we, uh, we told, um... We, we, we... Tried to uh, to tell one of your parables. Parables, good. That's what I would have done. Which parable? The <clears throat> the banquet. You know, the one where the guests give excuses not to come, and so everyone else gets invited. You chose the banquet. People get upset by that one. Of course they do. Well, if it makes you feel any better, we first consider the wheat and the tares, but we thought better of it. I already told you. Some people wouldn't understand that parable. I'm not even sure I understand the wheat and the tares. <laughs> Give it time. The problem is that they did understand the parable and it caused fights in the street. Writing between Jews and Gentiles. Hmm. Leanders told us it's getting worse every day. The prominent Hellenistic priest has changed his ways, which is good, but when he abdicated his duties as priest and leader, others tried to fill the void. And so projects are going undone, and people are just angry and blaming each other for everything. It led to stealing, fights in the streets. Many people are actually leaving their homes to escape the violence. That's the environment you suggest sending us into? What part of the parable caused this fight to break out? The people outside the city, the ones on the highways and the hedges. 
last to be invited and the last to accept the invitation. That's what I suspected. Speaking of which, the highways and hedges, does that actually refer to Gentiles? <sighs> he who has ears to hear, let him hear. We leave in the morning. Everyone go home, gather your things. We take to the highways and the hedges before dawn. Boys, this is part of it. You try and carry heavy things, sometimes one gets dropped, but we pick it up and keep going forward. Hmm? Mm -hmm. John. May I have a word? Yes, Rabbi. I can do that. This isn't going to be easy. I'm sorry? The Decapolis will be perilous. The hearts I must reach there are hard. Jew and Gentile alike. Our time will be fraught. We are ready for anything, Master. We have Z. Uh, I can ask my father to come along for extra help. He's good with crowds. I want you to stay behind. The rest of us will leave in the morning. You will stay and wait. You just said the situation was fraught, which means I should be there more than ever. For what? Strength in numbers? Our challenges there are not based on how many followers are surrounding me. This is not about the lack of resources. Well, then what? Hard hearts, John. Cold, unyielding granite. I don't understand. You seem to think that we needed a full group for this trip, hmm? Who was missing at today's meeting? Oh. You will stay and wait for him. The success of this trip depends on Simon. Master, whatever it is you need, I can provide. Waiting for Simon is what I'm asking you to provide. Simon is distracted. He's not himself. Something is off. Maybe... Maybe it's better if he stays behind. John, I love you. But that's not the approach I take to people in pain. You should know that by now. What about one of the others? Wouldn't it be better if one of them... You've known Simon since childhood. But what about Matthew? They were able to work together to find Mary in Jericho. Did you think that pairing them up for that task was a good idea at the time? John, it has to be you. No more questions. We'll be watching the finale on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific. Episode 8 will be the finale, and it is for sure the best episode of the season. Where's your brother? Is he okay? You've got the hands full without worrying about it now. Shalom, Simon. What are you doing here? Did you sleep in? I didn't sleep at all. Why? Where's everyone? They left before dawn for the Decapolis. No one told you? If you ran, you could probably catch up with them. I'm not much of a runner.
Simon, what are you doing here? I'm having a cup of water. I'm thirsty. Why aren't you on your way with the others? It did they tell you to stay behind and look after the women? I didn't know about the trip. I thought Andrew and Philip went and sorted it out. You're disconnected, Simon. You have no clue what's going on. You rebuke me, Zabedin? Abba? Don't play games with me, kid. Salome and I were at your bris. Abba! What's gotten into him? What's gotten into... Just go get your things. Hi. I travel light. What are you doing here anyway? I came here to wait for you. Really? Oh, believe me, it was not my choice. If it were up to me, I would have left you behind. Oh, did someone eat your breakfast, John? What, what have I ever done to you? It's what you haven't done. This again? You miss meetings? You hang around all night with a Roman official, your wife? Doesn't even know where you are? So leave me behind, like chaff in the wind. I can't! <laughs> Jesus said the success of this trip to the Decapolis depends on you. You, of all people. I don't understand it, and frankly, I feel disrespected by it. But what am I going to say to Jesus, huh? No? Yeah, you could. You know I can't do that. Let's go. Is that Robin Hood? What's he doing sneaking up there? Andrew, Philip, I knew you'd return. Why are you acting like this? There's so much unrest and anger, I don't want to draw attention to... You. You must be the rabbi we've heard so much about. More than heard about, as I understand. Rise. I'm sorry for the trouble. No. The strife between Jew and Gentile was there all along in a bill that just simmering beneath the surface. It's simply out in the open now. Mm. It's bound to happen sooner or later. It was bound to happen now. Rabbi! Telemachus? Jesus of Nazareth. Your teachings have reached us. So I have heard. He has not. What do you mean? He's deaf. Ayaba cannot hear and can barely speak. <laughs> Telemachus, you are out of line. This is not why we need Jesus. Why shouldn't it be? Because, Rabbi, there are far greater problems right now than one man's... I can think of no better place to start. Didn't mean to spring this on you, I promise. I really didn't know. <laughs> Please, Rabbi. I don't mean to disrespect I but... understand, son. It's okay. Vata, be opened. Oh. Oh. Don't be afraid. That's what birds sound like. They sing. <laughs> I don't even hear them. Abba, can you hear me? The sound of your voice, the sound of my voice. Telemachus. Am I saying that right? Yes, it's perfect. How do I know? 
How can we ever repay you? I have no money, no way to compensate. Actually, you can. How? By telling no one what happened. I strictly charge you to keep this quiet, which should be easy for you. You've had quite a lot of practice. <laughs> now is not the time for this word to spread. Do you hear me? Now I hear you. <laughs> That's good. You brought friends. I thought we'd seen the last of you. I'm consorting with Greeks, I see. Nishan, they're here to bring peace. Nishan is a healer. Argo never had enough money for Nishan to heal him, though. Here to bring peace? That's what they said the last time. You must be the rabbi. The one everyone's been talking so much about. Tell me, what sort of respectable rabbi would be speaking amicably with a man who corrupts our Hebrew children? by teaching them Greek philosophy. If this corrupter of children were to raise money for your fee, would you speak to him then? He will never raise the money, I know that. You want to dilute our faith. How do you know what he wants? Arga. Oh, what did you just say? The town deaf mute? He's not the town deaf mute anymore, Nashon. Go on your way. Who did it? I want to know who healed you. Your deafness was no doubt punishment for some ghastly sin committed by you or your parents. And I want to know who... It doesn't work that way. Oh, then how does it work? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, what have we here? The Galileans return, this time in droves. A drove is a flock or herd of animals. Oh, I know. They're sad of Phoenicians. My friends, you seem upset. How can I help you? Are you the one they call Jesus of Nazareth? I am. They say you do miracles. All we've heard is rumors and heresy from the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Show us proof of who you are. Give us a sign. Or at least some food and supplies for all the people displaced from their homes. Otherwise, take yourself, your followers, and your monotheism back west where you belong! I mean, oh, the Jews and their long-awaited Messiah finally arrived to cause even more trouble, and this is his army. Nabataeans. How many is that? Nine? I have more children than that. Could I be your Messiah? Blasphemy. Anyone else think we should move to higher ground? I agree. Rabbi, tell us what to do. Wow. Are your followers always this strong and intimidating? Everyone calm down and settle in. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. Just one trip. One errand out of a thousand, and this is the time I can't miss. You said you go with him to the ends of the earth. Yeah, that doesn't mean every time he goes somewhere. And the Decopolis is hardly the ends of the earth. I didn't say it was. You know, I'm remembering something you told me in Samaria. I prefer not to talk about Samaria, if that's okay with you. That field he tricked you into cultivating for a Samaritan. To correct your prejudice. It was not a trick. And I'm not exactly fond of that memory, Simon. Melech, with a broken leg. You said in the morning he was healed, but... You were already at Fatina's house. Jesus didn't have to be present to perform the miracle. What's your point? But why can't he perform a miracle in the Decapolis from Capernaum instead of dragging us all into a mostly Gentile territory that already has it out for us? Ask him. I'm sure he'd be more than willing to answer your questions since success depends on you oh, being there. Off it. He's nicer with you than with me. I don't hold that against you, do I? Oh, how very generous of you. Any other virtues you'd like to lord over me? Simon the Exceptional? Simon the Distinct? And also, yes, maybe he calls me beloved sometimes, but that's only because you have Eden. I don't know what you're whining about when you have found someone like her. Hmm. 
Look, I'm sorry, I, I went too far. I know I wouldn't want anybody to resent me for having a wife. Simon? Hey, 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 Simon. Hey, I, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Simon, what's going, what, what did I say? Si Simon? I trusted Jesus. Of course you do. Wait, 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 trusted? I trusted that Eden would be okay. Safe while we were gone. I didn't know it, John. But before we all left on our two by two mission, we conceived the child. And while we were gone. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm so sorry, brother. <laughs> when, it, when it happened, she almost died at home with the baby. There was so much damage, the doctor said she might never be able. But <laughs> tonight, heaven. Why didn't you tell us? Because I'm furious, John. I'm so angry. Look, he is who he says he is. I don't believe it. I know it. He's the first and the last. He can do anything. How could he let something whoa, like whoa, this... Whoa, that's not the right way to think about happen it. Happen to Eden! Happen to me! Let's, let's keep going. You're not exempt, Simon. Remember he said that in this world, bones will still break. Hearts will still break, but he's making a way for people to access a better kingdom. He heals total strangers while I gave up everything for him. But that does not mean that your life will now be perfect. In fact, he said the complete opposite. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Life was a whole lot easier when we fished. She still could have lost a baby while you were a fisherman, Simon. We just wouldn't have anybody to turn to. He could have prevented it, and he did not. It sounds like we're close. He said, it all depends on you. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. I have the link if you want to give into The Chosen down in the description. What an episode. What an episode. Let's talk about it here quickly for a minute. I'll be watching the season finale Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. The season finale is launching Tuesday night, but we have a very busy week. Monday, we have our Book of John teaching. Tuesday, we have our Demon Slayer podcast with the group. Wednesday at 2 p.m., we'll be watching The Chosen right here on this channel finale. And I'm telling you, the finale is by far the best episode of the season. I saw it in theaters already, and the very end, I won't give it away. Do not give it away if you know. Do not give it away. It will absolutely blow your mind. Thursday, we have a brand new YouTube upload, and then Friday, we will be live in the brand new studio. So for the next five days, we are very, very busy. I'm very sad The Chosen is coming to an end. Now, some of you are in the comments. You're like, who's this annoying guy in the corner of the screen? It's very simple. This is my channel. The literal title is my review and reaction. So all you have to do is click off and go watch the chosen channel if you don't want to see me in the screen. I, it blows my mind that some of you are in here going, who's this guy when my name is literally the channel? Like you are the one that clicked the video. My name is the channel and it says my reaction and review. So I thought I would clear that up for some of you that are just confused. Maybe you don't know how to use your phone or know how to use a computer. I'm not even being rude. You literally just keep coming in here spamming. Who's this guy in the corner? He's so annoying. Um, it's my channel. So that's who I am. My name is Isaiah Saldivar. This is the chosen. Even though I put in the comments, the ch this is the chosen google it you guys still come in here and spam and by the way i'm reading the comments the whole time i just not gonna keep responding to comments while the video is playing but you guys keep spamming what is this it's a show based on the new testament this is not a word for word translation so for those of you that are spamming oh this is a mormon show that's wrong okay you're about as accurate as cnn news it is not a mormon show i actually had the creator of this show on my podcast two weeks ago so in like five seconds 
You can go to my channel, uh, it'll take you five seconds to find it. Go to my live tab and go find that the creator of The Chosen tells all and he answers all the questions you guys spam. Is it is it word for word? Is it biblically accurate? Is it Mormon? I had him on for an hour and a half and we talked all about that. So please, 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 before you come in here and start spamming fake news, get your facts right. It just, it's so cringe when people come in here saying things that are completely wrong and you have no facts or no evidence. Just be careful what you comment, be careful what you type because it does matter. It does matter what you're commenting and typing. If you're saying stuff that's wrong and bearing false witness, that is literally a sin. Okay, so again, this is not a word for word Bible translation. This is not a substitute to the Bible. It's just an awesome show. Okay, so you guys line up to go watch the Avengers. Please do not come on here and cry about how The Chosen is not what you think it is or whatever it is. I love the show. Obviously, I wouldn't be watching it. We'll be watching the finale on Wednesday. It's an amazing show. We actually have a movie coming out. On March 13th, I'm going to type the in that you could buy tickets right now. There you go. Come out in Jesus name.com. We have a deliverance documentary coming out and I'm telling you right now it is selling out in theaters. The fathom events who actually put the chosen in theaters is going to be putting our movie in theaters. And they said this is the biggest pre-sale they've ever had in history. Theaters are selling out before the tickets even went live. People were finding out ways to buy the tickets directly from the theaters. We're doing a meetup uh, and the theater that we're meeting up at has, I think like five tickets left 350 people. It's crazy guys. It's absolutely crazy. This is selling out everywhere. Pretty much all the theaters in the area are sold out right now. A lot of the theaters in New York are sold out. I'm hearing about uh, theaters in Texas and Tennessee sell selling out and it's going to be crazy. So you might want to watch that. That's come out in Jesus name. March 13th. We're going to be doing a podcast this Tuesday answering all your questions about the movie, talking about deliverance. It's just very very exciting right now. All the stuff that's happening, I can't fully announce, but just stay tuned because it's very exciting. And if you want to be part of the meetup in Manteca, California, March 13th at 7 p.m., I think there's literally, let me check, I think there's like five tickets available. So let me find out right now. If you want to go to the meetup, you need to get tickets like literally right now. Let me see how many tickets are available and I'll show you on screen. So that's zip code 95336, Manteca, California, March 13th at 7 p.m. I'm going to show you the theater. Okay, this is the theater right now. Let me see, make sure that I'm not... Okay, look at this is the theater. Those are seats available. The blue is available and the gray is taken. That is my local theater in Manteca, California. And it's almost sold out. There's 300 plus seats in that theater. So there's a couple in the front. If you want to go, then you need to get your ticket tonight because it will be sold out by tomorrow. And then it's only one showing. So you just will have to travel far and see it. And then the other theaters in my area are all sold out already. They're very small, but this is the largest theater in the area. We're going to meet at March 13th. Again, Manteca, California, zip code 95336. It's playing all throughout California. It's playing in every state, 2000 theaters. So hopefully we'll be able to get it international. They said if it does good, then we'll be able to add more show times. We'll be able to go international. But as of right now, it's doing amazing. And we haven't even announced it. Tonight was the first night I announced our meetup. I posted it on Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure that you guys get to that meetup if you'd like to go. It's the same people that put the chosen in theaters is putting this in theaters, okay? So let me read some of the comments here. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you guys are curious about the scene of the old man in Matthew, that was Matthew when he was a tax collector. And I believe the old man was type of like a type of archetype of Jesus where he basically, his children had debt, he paid their debt. And then when he died, their debt was gonna be paid. So. That was like an archetype of what Jesus has done for us. If you were kind of confused about that, that that's what I took it as. I don't know why someone said that the chat is so bad. I I know people are in here spamming and people hate the chosen and whatever. We're just we're just muting them. So it is what it is. People are people are weird. That's all I have to say. It's a nice way of saying it. Can you buy the movie? Not yet. The movie is only going to be in theaters and then it will come out in DVD. It'll be out probably on Netflix, YouTube, all of that eventually. Hopefully I can get it on my YouTube channel in the future. What are you naming the studio? I think you should name it the Demon Slayer Lair. I don't have a name for it yet. I don't know if I'll name it, but yeah, we will be in the new the uh, studio on Friday. And we also are filming a studio tour video. We're just waiting on a new computer. We need an, a better computer for the studio. So once we get that, I will do a studio tour. For those of you who keep asking, I will tell you how much everything costs, where you can get it. I'll put all the links. So if you want to build a studio, you can learn a little bit about that. So yeah, that'll be good. Some of you, I just don't, I don't understand. Some of you, some of you are just weird. That's all I have to say. I was posting those funny fast food videos and you're like, I wish you'd post preaching. I'm like, dude, I post three preaching short videos every single day. I post sermons every single week. I'm teaching through the book of John. Some of you just need to learn to tell your face to smile and not so be so uptight about everything. Like just 
Have fun. Laugh. Smile. You don't have to be mad about everything. You could just be happy. And if you are mad, just go somewhere else. Like, literally, if you don't like the content, you just click off. It's super simple. Like, no one's going to be like, oh, I really wish they were here. It's, I don't get why grown adults come in comment sections and type negative, rude things and then think anyone cares. Like, literally nobody cares. You're just going to get invited to the block party, hit with the ban hammer, and no one cares. Go somewhere else and spread your poison and toxicity and, and cry about whatever you're crying about. What's the reason for the moving being made? To bring deliverance to the body of Christ. It is a movie about deliverance. So we want to see people get delivered. Jesus cast out demons everywhere he went. All believers can cast out demons. That's the goal of the movie. It's a deliverance movie. Yeah, it's just some people are just, I don't know, just weird. You can also go watch The Chosen on the app for free. You can go watch it on uh, Angel Studios. Like, you could go watch it anywhere. Just Google. It takes three seconds. It's actually quicker for you just to click off and go find it than to complain in the comments. Super easy. Super, super easy. Yes, guys, the movie's going to be amazing. Come out in JesusName.com. We'll be blasting it more as the time goes. Pretty much you're going to he be hearing about it nonstop. I'll have a ticket link for every live stream for the next month. And March 13th It's going to be a good time. Yes, it'll be like the Finger of God documentary style type-ish. I haven't seen the movie. We just filmed for it, so I don't know. I'm going to be watching it with you guys. Well, I'll probably watch it early, but yeah, I don't know exactly yet. I just know it's a deliverance documentary. Isaiah's on fire. I just, I, I read these comments for an hour and I can't say anything. So when I'm done, I'm like, let me read these comments here. I literally brought the creator of The Chosen on the live stream. He answered all of our questions for an hour and a half. And some of y'all still come in here with your pacifiers and your bottles and your rattles. And you cry about The Chosen. Like, just go somewhere else. It's, it's, it gets really annoying. It really is annoying. We've explained it over and over again. Then you come in here, oh, is this Marman? It's like, dude, stop listening to Heresy Hunters. They're cringe. Yeah, it's going to be awesome movie. It's going to be awesome, awesome movie. Some people just love to complain. Yes, Miranda, that's the truth. I just am like, I hope that you're 10 or 12 or like 9. I hope these are not adults that are coming in here and saying some of the stuff they're saying. Episode 8 is amazing. I can't wait to watch it so that we can talk about it. It's... <sighs> mind-blowing do not spoil it if you i was actually shocked on about watching it because i didn't expect what happened but i won't say it how long is the documentary over an hour i don't know the exact time it would be embarrassing if they're adults yes 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 some of the comments i'm telling you i've been reading i try not to read comments but this last couple days i've been reading comments and i'm like what is wrong with some people i don't get it Episode 8 is not out right now. Uh, Big Homie Christmas. That's literally his name, guys. Episode 8 will be coming out on Tuesday night. But we will have a Demon Slayer podcast on Tuesday night live. So tomorrow night, so Monday, Book of John teaching tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Pacific live on this channel. Tuesday night, Demon Slayer podcast, 6 p.m. Pacific live. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Pacific, the chosen season finale. Thursday, brand new YouTube video. Friday, live from the new studio. So we are like every day posting something, putting content out, excuse me, working hard. And I know someone commented like, brother, don't work so hard. You're going to burn out. Don't, don't, don't do too much. Here's the, here's the deal, guys. Time is too short. Time is too short. We need to preach to as many people as possible, put as much of the word out as possible. Like time is short. We don't have time to just like sit around doing nothing. So we are going hard this year. We are posting like as of right now for the next 10 days. We we're posting three short videos every single day. Three short videos every single day. Plus, we're posting lives every day and videos. So if there's not a live, there's a video. So like we are working full time to put videos out. So I don't know what Friday will be yet. I don't know what it's gonna be in the new studio. The new studio is is different than this studio, because this studio I can preach, I can teach. The new studio is relaxed, sit down. It's more like uh, d dialogue, engaging with you guys, telling stories, sharing testimonies, reacting to content. It's that style. So when we're in the studio, it's not like, you know, this type of style where like tomorrow I'll be preaching. The podcast will be preaching. It'll be heavy teaching content. The new studio is more, more relaxed. So your new studio is amazing. I love this form as well. Thank you. We're waiting on a new computer at the new studio. And I, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what we'll be doing there and what content. Of course, we'll have speakers come in and pastors and family members interviewing and stuff, but I'm still trying to figure out like the content flow because it's new. So 
I'm glad you guys like the new studio. I was hoping everyone was going to like it. Honestly, it came out, and I'm not saying this because we designed it, but it came out like 10 times better than I thought it would. It looks better than I thought it would, and I'm just very, very happy with it. We spent a lot of time. It's actually weird because we spent so much time there for like two weeks to three weeks that now my schedule feels empty because we were there every single day for hours and hours. So yeah, now we just got to go film and do the stuff that we're doing and we, we have a lot of stuff planned for you guys. A lot of stuff, a great way to start the year. A lot of good stuff coming and God has been providing. God fully provided for the studio. Like another testimony I can't, now I can't mention this last week financially, but just put it this way. God has provided through people. I can't mention their names, but God has provided for the studio and we stepped out in faith financially. We did not have the finances to fund the whole studio. We stepped out in faith. We knew God was telling us to do this and literally God has provided for the studio fully. Everything has been paid for and I'm just in awe of what God is doing. I just know we're right in the will of God because I believe if it's his will, he'll foot the bill. If it's his vision, he'll provide the provision. And so the provision's there and I feel like it's just awesome what God is doing there. Also, if you didn't see the new interview at the studio, I interviewed Pastor Mike Signorelli in person and then I interviewed my wife the next day, which is on the channel. And then we had Dallas the week before, Dallas Jenkins, if you wanna go watch that interview. So we have a ton of good content on the channel. Make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you're following. We're posting tons of videos on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. If you don't know, I got permanently banned on TikTok and then I got reinstated. So we're just blasting it there, posting, posting as much as we can. And we're going hard this year. We are going hard this year. It's just been exciting, exciting. So stay tuned, stay tuned. We enjoy watching you. Thank you, Vicky. I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm going to get off here in a minute, guys, because I'll be live Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and I'll be live Friday. So I'm going to be live four times this week. What computer are you going to get for the new studio? So we bought a computer thinking it was going to be strong enough, and we're, we have to, we ended up getting a custom computer with like a 4080 graphics card, um, the highest CPU you could get, high everything top notch because we're we're streaming we're recording at 4k this is for all the nerds 4k 60 frames and then we're streaming at 2k 60 frames at the same time at different bit rates so like you need you need pretty much the top computer they make to be able to do that it's very very taxing to record at 4k 60 and stream at 2k we were streaming at 4k but we bumped it down to 2k which is still crazy good quality because people were having trouble loading. Facebook was rejecting the video. It was having syncing issues. It was a bunch of issues. The 4K 60 frames was just too much for people's devices and internet to handle. So we are going to, yeah. Yeah, so we're doing a 4080. It'll be plenty enough of what we're trying to do. And then uh, we're doing the new i9, I think it's like 1390 KF or something like that. So something similar to that. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do all that with a tour video and stuff. I have right now a 3080 on my PC that I'm using. The reason why we need a 4080 is because there's an AV1 encoder, which is a new encoder on the four series cards. And we need that plus we are basically streaming and streaming and recording at high bit rates separately from the same graphics card, nerd talk. So yeah, we had a 3070 Ti and it wasn't enough. Yeah, I think it's like the 13900KF something. It's the maxed out one. It's 24 cores and fully unlocked the whole thing. So yeah, the live streams will be 2K now. And then the recordings will be 4K 60. And the file sizes are massive. Like I think our stream was like 100 gigabytes for one stream. But you know what? Listen, we spent so much money on equipment and we bought top notch cinema cameras and I want to have the absolute best quality. This is the kingdom of God. And we want to stand out. We want to be a good testimony to people. We want to reach people. So yeah. I'll do a video, Rallis said I zoned out. I know, it's nerdy, I know. But I will do a video for all the nerds out there like me, and I'll explain everything on video, exactly what we bought, what it costs, and I'll have a link so you guys can build your own studios, and I'll help you there, because I love it. I'm a nerd, I love talking nerd, I can go hours on all this stuff. Not understanding a single thing you said. I know, I know, I just, somebody asked me, so I had to go into there. Okay, amazing guys, were you always as tech savvy? Yes and no. I always knew about tech, but I, since I started streaming and I've, I'm obsessed with anything I get into, I learned about computers and building computers and cameras and lighting. And I learned it all through YouTube and through friends because I don't want to depend on anybody. I want to be able to do it the way I want to do it. And so I taught myself pretty much everything. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm not top, 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 but I know how to set up and we built the studio by ourselves. Like we didn't have a company. We didn't have no professionals. We just did it ourselves. So yeah, I'm pretty nerdy at that, but I'll have that. I'll have a, video on that so for all the nerds you could just 
we can nerd talk and people can just click off and not have to worry about the nerd talk. So, where is Carl the pin, uh, pigeon? He's alive and well. I kind of miss the snow. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. I miss the snow. I don't think I have Carl on this scene right now. But yeah, I, I miss the snow. It's it's still winter. I can put snow up once in a while, right? It is still winter. Just feels so relaxing to have the snow on. Maybe because it doesn't snow that I like the snow. But if it snowed, I probably wouldn't like it as much. Amazing, amazing time tonight. Yes, amazing time tonight. We will be live tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and content, brand new video. The, the video coming out Thursday is crazy. Like, actually, the video coming out Thursday has the potential of what I cover in that video to change everything in a bad way. And so Thursday's video is pretty bizarre, and I think it's, come, it's gonna be closer than we think. The persecution I discuss on Thursday night's video, I'm just hyping it up, but for real though, the persecution I discuss in Thursday night video is a picture of what could be coming to America. And yeah, it's not looking good. It could definitely be, put it this way, put it this way. I could definitely be in jail or prison in the next year or two because of what's happening with laws right now when it comes to what we're preaching. Heresy Hunters coming for you, Isaiah Saldivar. They're always coming for me. They love me. The Heresy Hunters live in my streams. I, I live in their head rent free. They just love it. I don't know. Do you have a green screen? Yes. Love the nerd talk. I'm glad you do. I love how you watch it like it was the first time. I do the same thing rewatching them. Yeah, I had to give you guys a disclaimer that I already watched this episode and the finale. But hey, it's still a reaction, still a review, and still fun to watch together. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I did six episodes. I'm not just going to stop on seven and eight. So we'll keep going for it. Okay, I think we are going to get off. Did something just squawk? Uh, Maybe one of my kids yelled. I heard one of them yelling a minute ago, so you probably heard them. Is rapture going to happen before or after the tribulation? I am post-trib, so I believe it will happen after the tribulation. What is a green room? It's just a room that you go into. Like, if you're at church and you're a guest speaker and you're waiting to go up on stage, you go in the green room. Uh, green rooms are also like a secular term. So if you're like in a movie, before you shoot the movie, there's like green rooms that you can get ready in and wait in. So it's like a waiting room for going up, speaking conferences, movies, filming. If you're going to film an interview, all that. 100 gigs, where do you st store all your files? I store them on like an NVM2ME, whatever it's called, hard drive that's built in SSD. And then I move them to a SSD external hard drive, which I'm just like five terabyte hard drives I'll be filling up. So yeah, store it on the computer because it's obviously you want to write it to the computer and then I move it from the computer to a hard drive after. How's your dog good? Yes, N-V-M-E-M-2. Yes, Malachi, you know, SSD. It's a lot of words to remember and say at once. <laughs> I'm just like N-V-M-E-2-M-2. All right. I've been fired at a job for playing Christian music. Z-double have got me through the trial. Now I'm strong in the Lord. Amen, Isaac. 100 gigabytes for one video. That's insane. Yes, it was a two and a half hour video, but we are recording at very high bit rate. So yeah, it takes up a lot of room, but I want a future proof. So I want the videos to be clear still in like five or 10 years from now. Micro Center is the place to get everything. We don't have a micro center out here. We actually don't have anywhere out here that sells like PC parts at all. It's Best Buy, but they have the low, Best Buy is terrible. Like they don't have anything that at that level. Isaiah, I don't watch most of your other stuff, but I will. You're a good brother of God. Thank you, Andrew. Check out the other content. We have lots of content on the channel. We have like 20 playlists if you want to find it at categorize and organize and stuff like that. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow night at, five, at 6 o'clock Pacific time. Be here. Don't miss it. It's going to be a great time. Let me find my stream. And I love you guys. See you tomorrow. I'll be here, please. Six o'clock Pacific. Bye. Love you. See ya. God bless. Sleep well, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know why there's a bird on screen, neither do I. Be nice in the comments. Don't be weird. Thank you. Yes, I have all of season all of season three on the channel. 
all of season three is on the channel in a playlist. You can watch every episode or you can go to The Chosen. If you don't want to see me in the corner of the screen, just go to The Chosen site. Go, it's like, it's super simple to Google. I don't, I don't know how people struggle to find it. It's just Google. Literally Google watch The Chosen. Hey, didn't see you. I was just chilling down there listening. If this, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Super easy, super free, helps a lot. All right, so right now, stop what you're doing, hit like. Okay, I'm going back down here. Bye. Love y'all. Have a great night. Like the video, thank you. Someone said, if you don't want to see me, don't come to my house. Thank you. Exactly. People were like, why are you on the screen? I'm like, because it's my channel. It my, the name of the channel is literally Isaiah Saldivar. Like, how are you confused? What is this guy's name? It's the channel name. Just open up your eyeballs. It's right there. I don't even know how you got here. Yeah, go watch all of it. Go watch all of The Chosen. Go binge watch the whole season. It's really good. See you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Support The Chosen as well. I have the link. It's a free show. So if you want to give to The Chosen, the link to give is in the uh, description. I'm glad you enjoy my humor. Yes, they will be adding showtimes, hopefully, to the theater, so stay tuned.